Hello and welcome, Paul Lee here. And I am playing Warsword Conquest and this is my High Elf campaign. Now in normal Paul Lee fashion, I managed to record an episode of this and there was no sound, so I had to scrap it. So I'll have to fill you in in what's happened. Not a lot has actually happened. You haven't missed much, but a couple of uh, interesting developments have occurred. So I'm going to talk about those in a moment. We're just going to go ahead and buy some wine and honey because we're going to drink. Okay, we're not going to buy the exquisite 5,000. You're mad. Get out of here. But we do need to stock up on food as we were pretty low. Okay, so we'll go ahead and leave campus goals. So we currently have the Phoenix King, the leader of the High Elves, laying siege to Dark Shrine. I did have another ally going after the Great Horn, but he had left. And we had a bunch of beastmen around Gorspite laying siege to it. Now, between myself and a couple of patrols, we were able to defeat every beastman that was in this area. They've gone. And we are back to hanging around waiting to see if a siege will actually happen but if you look here you can see beast lord zakar has switched sides highlighted by the fact that his name is a different color now not only that i looked in the faction list and the majority of these beastmen have switched sides as well that's because their faction's getting beat and, you know, they're just leaving, which is fine. But something pretty interesting happened. I wonder if he's still here for me to show you. I don't quite understand how this works. I don't think I've ever seen it happen before. But... There you go. Beast King Kazrak One-Eye. He's in a different faction. So if I go here and bring him up, or bring up the factions, the Beastman is ruled by Beast King Kazrak One-Eye, but if you click on his name, he is a part of the Nippon Colonies and a vassal to the Shogun. So how did that happen? I have no clue, but it is baffling and bizarre. So yeah. Very, very weird indeed. So I don't know if I capture the Great Horn, if the Nippon Colonies will go to war with us. We'll have to see. For now, I'm just focusing my attention on Dark Shrine, just to see if the Phoenix King will go after it. If he does, great. If not, then, oh well, hopefully the Bretonians will come and attack it. But yeah, we're doing some pretty damn good work at the moment, and I'll probably go ahead and take take out uh, Great Horn soon. But I just want to see if this will actually trigger. I don't know what he's doing. There we go. I'm always talking to him just to make sure I can keep my relations up, which is good. And the more, of the, the more of these villages get passed around, the better. It means each of my allies will have more options to recruit from and hopefully their armies will go, grow stronger, which is all good in my book. So, Dark Shrine, come on. Come on, Phoenix King. You wear my mantle from another world, but I'll allow it for now, provided you don't let me down. Dark Shrine, take it. That's what we want. Come on. Come on. Give me Dark Shrine. I'm just speeding up time at the moment, hoping, you know, the siege will happen. You know, now that I think about it, how often has this actually worked for me? When I tell someone to go attack somewhere, you know? 
Like if I could tell this guy to go and accompany the Phoenix King, that would be really handy. My relation isn't that high with him, so I don't think I can. There's no point in me telling them to follow me or do anything of the sort now. We'll just kind of hold on and see what happens here. I'll keep roaming around looking for enemies to fight. I mean, these guys. Decent amount of uh, prisoners. A lot of beastmen. How have their war herds got more troops than the actual lords that are still roaming around? There he is, Beast King Kazrak one eye Will he attack me? He outnumbers me, he could defeat me pretty easily. I've got to test this, I've got to talk to him. I've got to talk to him, because we're not at war with this faction. We bring it up, high health. No outstanding issues with the Nippon colonies, so he might hate my guts. Oh, he doesn't hate me too bad. Yeah. <laughs> Wood elves. <laughs> okay, so that is so very weird. I could potentially lay siege to the Great Horn. I don't know if I could take it though. And would Kazrak stop me? I don't know. In fact, what if we were to lay siege while there's no one defending it? Yes, they have more troops than us, but all I would need to do is just pepper them with arrows and then just retreat. We wouldn't necessarily lose anyone. But we've got to do it when he's not in the Great Horn. In fact, he might join me. Would he join me? I don't know, but let's try it. Let's wait until he's close by. Okay, he, he isn't. <laughs> Fair enough. Let's see if we can just pick him apart a little bit, do some damage. If it's the one I'm thinking of. Okay, they got archers up on the ridges we gotta kill. A lot of them. A lot of archers. If we can pick these off, all the better. All we're going to do is just do this enough times to weaken it. We have the better ranged. I'm going to use it. Best as I can. The sooner I kill them, it means they're not taking shots at people they're missing, you know what I mean? Like, all the arrows you see going around these guys, as soon as I take them out of the fight, you know, my guys aren't going to waste arrows. There we go, it's all gone quiet now. We've got these troops just over this ramp that we've got to deal with now. So I'm wondering, can I bring my people... I dodged the attack. Okay, get over here, get over here, come on. Let's grab as many arrows as we can, put them back to good use. So dark. Ah. 
Like I said, we won't do this for too long, just enough to uh, drop a few more, ideally. Am I better off going for their legs? Their shields, uh, they have to go right for their, their ankles, pretty much. I want to avoid their shields. Right in the calf. In the calf, however you say it. Well, these guys don't have shields. Perfect. Of course, the guys getting in my way do. And these guys just tank it. They just take the shots to their face and keep going. A little intimidating. Out of arrows. A few more. Now I could tell my my guys to rush in here. The enemy still has a lot of troops. I mean, we've done some damage, but... I want to bring my... Okay, so I see the problem is these guys can't get back. They're stuck here. Let me see if it works. Fall back, fall back, fall back. Come on. Get out of here. Make some room. <laughs> Don't kill the guy that actually hit me. See, some of them are stuck. That's the problem. They can't get back over here. Alright, let's see if we can do this. Oh, they're kicking my ass. It's too dark, I can't see him, that's the problem. Oh yeah, I'm gonna go down. Can my guys get through? No, they're all stuck. Isn't gonna work. I can't retreat just yet. Um, you know what though? If I can get past these guys, I can probably do it. Oh god. Run. Oh dear. The meat grinder now. I can't swing the blade. I knew this would happen at some point, but. I know some people don't like first person, but I don't have much choice here. It is, uh. Very difficult to see. I'm trying to just hit who I can. I'm about to go down. Oh, I'm down. I'm down. I was defeated. How many troops do they have? They got some big guys at the back there. 
I mean, if we defeat this lot, we might be good and can finish, but I feel like we're going to end up losing a lot, a lot more troops. Can we just keep this fight up, I wonder? No, new enemies are arriving. Let's go ahead and leave. More people were defeated, which is not good, but... Great Horn, we took out a hundred of them at least. Their numbers have dwindled, so we'll just leave it be. Skaven Underworld is no more. That's always a good sign. Always good news. Always good news indeed. Come on, Phoenix King. You've got to take Dark Shrine. Wood Elves have declared war against the Kingdom of Bretonia. How big are the Wood Elves? The Wood Elves, um... I mean, they have a fairly sizable area. I mean, nothing too crazy, but... The Empire is about to be destroyed, which is kind of crazy. My god. Bretonia, though. Bretonia is... yeah. They're doing well. I'll just kind of stay here and heal up. Morale is still excellent, which is what we like to see. Come on, Dark Shrine. We need it. Now I can go back and do a whole bunch more damage to uh, Great Horn, but that's not the point. We need Dark Shrine gone. Although maybe I could lay siege to it. Maybe sieging it for a few days isn't a big deal anymore. Now that we have the troops. I mean, now that we've taken out most of the enemy troops, you know, they can't really defend it. See, a lot of beastmen are being defeated in battle. I just don't know where. Do it, just attack them, please. Look, where the reinforcements then? Stupid AI. But if we keep attacking Great Horn as well, there's a good chance that one of the, you know, one of our allies or neighboring faction like Bretonia would go after it, which wouldn't be too bad either. As long as it doesn't belong to the Beastmen anymore, that's all that matters. He's been laying siege to this for a long, long time. So there's any more stuff swapped over? Thief of Wrath, okay. Wrath, 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 Wrath. Who, where is that? Oh, I thought it was over here. Oh damn, we're losing this. But hey, well done. We captured somewhere of the Dark Elves. That's good. I want to go over and help defend it, but I, I want to just wrap up the Beastmen. We're so close. We are so close indeed. I've got more troops leveling up, which is good. I mean, it's, I mean, I don't really need to stay here because if he does actually lay siege to the Dark Shrine and actually attacks it, he'll probably capture it anyway. So me being here doesn't make much of a difference. Although me being here kind of ensures it happens. That's not the point. Oh, they defended it. No longer under attack. That's good. It's very good. See, the uh, the High Elves in my other campaign, in fact, a couple of my campaigns have been pretty beastly. The whole thing is, is that they've got this island, and you can only travel two directions, you know, this way or that way, and there's no real, 
not a great deal of land to maneuver on so if you're traveling if you're an enemy traveling on high elf land chances are you're going to run into a high elf lord or a high elf patrol and they'll take you out that's probably why they've lasted so long yeah i'm not sure i'm not sure there is a fight going on here though oh he's my ally i believe Hundred and sixty five I'm gonna order my troops to attack. Five were killed. I didn't really like that, but it was just, you know, get my relation back up with him, I guess. Alright, well things are slowly moving. Let me go talk to my ally here. Oh, everyone's accompanying uh, the Phoenix King now. So does that mean everyone's going to come here and they'll take Dark Shrine? That would be cool. That would be very cool. Let's hang around here see if anyone else turns up. Because if we can take this, then hell yeah. Anyway, we'll see what happens next time. And now that is all. Thank you for watching. Until then.